हेलो वेलकम एवरीवन सो वी आर जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर अपू यार हेलो अपू हाय हेलो अपू यार सो हाउ हैव यू बीन आह इट्स क्वाइट बोरिंग हियर देस देस नथिंग मच टू डू yeah same here same everywhere around so i guess you are in mizoram right now yeah i mean Mizo- i mean just with your family yeah so first thing they wanted to know about you is how it all started because you are yeah. one of the you know youngest members and <coughs> yeah uh first of all uh here in mizoram everybody uh, every every boy wants to play football and uh, just like everyone yeah. i started i started playing football since childhood and there is some local tournaments and all and uh, there is mizoram premier league under 18 senior yeah. i i play i play for three clubs in under 18 uh well i was only around 14 14 years old wow and that's great uh from that there is a uh, trial going on in our Rajivgan stadium for the yeah. under 17 world cup and i went there i have trial and i got selected to have trial again <laughs> with the uh national team under 17 who is already been selected that time yeah, and yeah. we play in uh, we we have a friendly match against them in guwahati the yeah. now which is my home my home stadium yeah, yeah, in that yeah. place we are playing and uh we we do we do them by one or and from that uh from our team i got selected to have trial again uh in goa with their b team from that it's it all start so yeah after that you went on to play along with the national under 17 team how has it been since then how has it changed after that experience of first ah uh, yeah yeah that that was a, a very good experience for 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 me and everybody who who has played the uh, under 17 because uh that is very important uh part for our career since it it was quite difficult for young star to have chance in ISL or uh, I league it it makes a lot easier it make a lot easier for us to join the senior team in i league and isa so it it is one of the most important part of our career i can say that you can see the change you can definitely see what the, all yeah. the stars from that under 17 world cup vb u yeah. on into objection everyone doing so good it's it's so good for yeah. it's so encouraging for all of us yeah 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 it's very difficult for young star to get chance in isa so it is very uh, we are we are lucky enough to got that opportunity so um, of course it was a great moment for every one of us when you got to know that you know another guy from north east and yeah. you uh, you were probably the only one from mizoram i think yeah 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 so who That's got right. selected for the under 17 world cup yeah, and there yeah. were a few Some... guys from manipur yeah some of them got selected before i, I joined the national team some yeah. of these guys but when okay. i got selected they are uh they are not selected for the yeah, final, they, final game yeah you were the only one who was was selected for the final so uh, what we want to know is it was a great moment for all of us from all the fans to know that someone from here from nordis has this, uh, you know is going another to play in the world cup what yeah. was your reaction like how like when you got the call how did you who how did you get the message like was it a call or was it a mail or somehow in someone told you how no, uh, how uh, did you get the message and how what was your reaction uh we didn't get selected by message or calls uh, we stay together for around 2 years for some players it's around 4 5 years so okay. we we always stick together uh, as a team no one uh, have time to go home or something like that everyone stay together in a camp we travel abroad india or some place okay. so we have meeting and they announce the final squad they didn't call us or message us like that 
uh, they just inform us in the in in the meeting what, how was your what was your reaction the first immediate reaction when you heard your name being called out uh before before the under 17 world cup uh, i got dengue you know uh oh okay so i i i don't think that i will make it up to the final squad and when they announced the final squad i'm very happy to hear that i'm in the final squad you know because oh, uh, i am i am sick for one week without getting up from my bed so it is very difficult to find myself in the final squad so i'm very happy yeah that's good to know the i'm sure that, of course that's that that you know says a lot about how much the coach trusted you yeah. even despite your health he hope that you'll be up for it it's good to know it's really really glad that you made it after that i think you went say the uh, uh, you know to join the aiff elite academy after that yeah join the uh, eros and you were there for like uh, three seasons no two for two seasons before joining uh, nordis united uh yeah i think it's true two seasons yeah so that was your uh, first professional contract maybe uh, Arrow, with yeah. eros yeah 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 okay so how has been the experience in eros you know you have played in under different coaches also, also different styles yeah so, you know after the world cup you were in eros then till now how has it changed from eros then to nordis united just uh, uh, tell us a journey the small uh it's quite difficult to play in the i league because we are playing against the senior player and some uh, most team are having uh foreigners and our team is the only one who is not having foreigners and we are also very young and yeah. we don't it's uh, we are not like confident with the ball since we are uh, very young comparing to them and not having the foreigners so it's quite difficult to play the i league and uh, after i play in the i league uh, we are playing with good foreigners and uh, older senior senior indian players so it's much easier to play with them because we have the confidence you know <coughs> if we make mistake also they can cover us and tell us what to do mm-hmm. and it's n- not like uh, the under 17 team so it's uh, i will say it's a lot easier uh, to play isa because of our team next uh, when you were selected for the northeast united when you were called uh, you were playing for the eros team yeah so how was your this one like you were approached by other clubs also i i hope yeah this one. yeah i'm also approached by uh, some other you. clubs but uh but so when you definitely you uh, finally choose not this that's yeah uh so how uh, so please share your experience to- in Uh, yes i don't i i don't want to name that club but yeah some some clubs are approaching me but i choose notice so whom did you idolize as a child footballer yeah for me uh i like messi for me he is the best player and but i i'm not uh, copying his style and all because he is not midfielder and I play in midfield so I as a midfielder I I look uh Sergio Busquets from Barcelona. Oh, he's, he's one of best, my favorite. Yeah. yeah yeah he is. For me he's, he's the a, best midfielder. Of course of course. You are I have read so you are a Barcelona fan as well. Yeah. Okay. So definitely Messi and Busquets Busquets are the one who you yeah. look up to. Yeah. Okay yeah. and uh, and what about the our national team from from indian among indian players was there anyone whom you looked up you know uh uh your favorite uh, indian players actually before before i i play under 17 world cup mostly i didn't watch uh, i league and, and isl and you know. all sorry to say that but uh it's not uh, very famous 
in Mizoram, I League and Iowa, because okay. nobody is playing for I League and everybody is watching English Premier League, Spanish La Liga, Bundesliga. So yeah. I I don't know whom to say this is my idol. He's very good. I don't know about that. We'll go on to the next. Another question is: Please share your experience last season with the team. Uh, with the North East United was, team, yeah. Last season, yeah, was, we had a very bad season. Of, yeah, yeah, it, it was quite difficult but, for everyone. Yeah, it was difficult for us. Yeah, because we are not getting points, which is the most important. Uh, but mm-hmm. as individual, I improve a lot. Because uh, I play with uh, one of the best player, even in the uh, top world, uh, Samoa. Samoa and, again, yes. Yeah, he 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 told us uh, a lot of things, what to do and what not to do. So it's uh, it's a time for improvement for me. But as a team, I will say it's a very poor season so but yes but as a uh, as individual i improve a lot recently just before the lockdown big happen you know the you were call up for the national team can how can you just say your this another because you are jumping from the junior under 17 you are getting call for you went on to play for the and uh, yeah under um, Indian arrows, then joining the ISL uh, for Northeast, then getting a call for uh, the national team, the national senior team. So, how was your re- reaction? How was your when you got the call? Uh, I I am very happy that uh, they called me for the national team because uh, if you are a football player, everyone dream is to play for their national team. So, it's like. Dream come true for me because I I really want to make uh, up to the senior national national team. So I'm very happy and I'm very uh, like I want to thank my teammate for supporting me in the game and for the coach who trust me and let uh, and give me playing time. So I want to thank them and the team who is trusting me. So I'm very happy that they called me. Okay, that's of course we uh, unfortunately it couldn't happen due to the lockdown. But hopefully in the in near time we'll see you playing with the national team very soon. Yeah. The viewers asked, do you have a special routine or su- superstition before playing a big game? Like uh, some many players, yeah. I don't have uh, something like that. I just uh, wake up and do the same thing as usual. Like other day, and playing playing some games, speaking with family. I didn't do different things. I I drink like other you like other day. I eat like other day. Okay. Uh, before game, I I pray and I say my I say to myself that I can uh, if I give my best, I will do I will do well. That's it. I I don't do different things. I trust in myself. That's that's the only thing I do. What are the three key aspects of being a midfielder? I think uh, num- f- f- uh, number one is shape, keeping the shape, and number two will be helping the defense first because you need to keep clean sheet first. Mm. If you keep clean yeah. sheet, uh, you will get one points. And if you score and keep clean sheet, it's three points. So shape is in, important first, and second, helping the defense, and third is controlling the game with the ball, the uh, with your passing. And all. the next question is related. We'll ask something. You are being a midfielder because you, in your position, you have to go up. You are you have to play box to box defense. Yeah. You have to help the defense. You have to attack. So that means you need a lot of physical this one. So be you being not the biggest guy in the team, how do you handle that? You know, how do you cope up with that? Playing with all the senior players, 
most of them foreign players who are big in size so how do you do it? uh for me i don't think uh physique is the only way to be uh in control in midfield uh if you look to uh at luka modric who play for uh real madrid he is very small i think he is smaller than me but he he can <laughs> he can get the ballon, ballon d'or which yes, is yes. uh not easy so i don't think physically is the most important uh, the timing game reading i think that is more important timing is the, i think the most important thing in football okay okay so it's a simple personal question who is your best friend in the club uh uh i don't know i uh, mostly you can name I'm more than one yeah. i you can name more than one Yeah. mostly i'm with miss love miss love oh he's one, yeah he's one great guy yeah he uh, recently he was in guwahati for a long time so yeah yeah he's my room partner yeah. and all yeah mostly okay, he's a cool guy yeah <laughs> he was recently stuck in guwahati for a month or so yeah are you still in touch Do you keep in touch yeah sometimes but not every day okay. Who is the funniest guy in the team? Mm. Uh I think Nim Dorji, Nim. Nim Dorji. Yeah. So can you can you do you have anything to say any incident regarding how he you know thanks or you uh, want to share anything any incident? The he he he's always laughing and he always uh have some fun with players always pranking others <laughs> yeah he's okay. very funny yeah <laughs> okay so we'll ask name the same question or if we get if we can get in touch with him to we'll see what he say what he says so the next question is who is the dj of the team sorry dj you know you are, are you into ah, clubbing and all okay Uh, no we are uh, we are <laughs> never going to for uh, club and all so, but the, uh, like in the you are, you sure have dancing party music and dancing in while you are together sometimes yeah uh, w- well we are uh, going for training and all we uh, s- some people used to play their speaker and all uh, okay. and the one who is mostly not every time mostly who control the speaker is pawan kumar the goalkeeper pawan kumar okay yeah. pawan kumar is the dj okay yeah so many secrets coming out today another one will ask who is the best dancer in the team mm, best dancer oh uh, ludo <laughs> ludo oh uh, that's a surprise <laughs> uh the worst dancer mm i think it's me <laughs> uh, okay we'll have to see your moves some day then <laughs> uh, who shows off the most in the training ground sorry who All the show off who is showboarding ah in, in the ground ah uh. I uh, I think it's uh, Nintoy. Nintoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Uh the best fashion sense in the team. The best fashion sense. Fashion. Oh. Mm. Uh I think Fanai. Fanai. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. He's your favorite player in isl uh including the foreigners or yeah yeah including everyone mm i uh, i think it's bumu from fc go oh. bumu sorry bumu. Bumu. bumu okay yeah okay great and uh, what about the indian players in uh, isl 
Chetri bhai. He's Chetri, of course, of course, yeah, he's the he, captain. He's uh, top player. Legend. And uh, what about our team? In Who our team, uh, including the foreigners or only Indian? Yes, yes, yeah, foreigners. You can say. Yeah. You can answer both. I will. I will yeah. say Federico. 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 Yeah, yeah, he is a fan favorite too. Yeah. He is the most loved, one of the most loved players. Yeah. Comment section now. Yeah. So we are we are getting repeated questions somewhere. Uh, two three people they are asking about your personal. It's a person a bit personal question. Whether you are you have a girlfriend. Many uh, people are asking in the question again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do have a girl, so so for all the la- ladies who who are following us, it's sad news. <laughs> Apuya seems to be taken already. Yeah. She is from the lucky girl is from Mizoram. Yeah. Okay, so we have a revelation today. Um, let's talk about the lo- lockdown, the situation that we are in. Everyone is just in the beginning. We were talking. It's yeah. boring and tough for everyone. So, how have you been coping up with it? It's already almost fifty days now. Yeah. So, how how have been have you been coping up with? Yeah. Um. Morning, I I woke up and do some uh running, jogging. Uh, okay. I got uh I got some schedule for uh training from. Uh, from the national team, so we we need to take exercise every day. So I don't have rest this time. Also, uh, I woke up and uh, do jogging around twenty minutes, fifteen minutes sometimes, and have breakfast. And at uh, noon, I I do some core workout and have lunch. And after uh, in the evening. Uh, I did some ball work and rest at night, playing some games, having family time, playing some poker. <laughs> you play poker, yeah. Bad games. Okay. Yeah. Talk about poker. So, other than football, what is your hobby? Like, what do you like to do? Uh, Pass your time in other in general. Uh, I think. You know futsal. Yeah, yeah, futsal. Yeah, that's the second. That is, and yeah, that is basically football. Only. <laughs> yeah. Other than something, <laughs> let's talk of something other than you know. The, ah. or, or you are ah. totally a football guy. Yeah, uh, and listening to music uh, ah. will be one thing, and I think it's uh, uh, volleyball. I will play volleyball. You I like volleyball. Play. But I'm okay. not good at it. <laughs> but I like to play. Doesn't matter. You are great at football. That's what matters for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul just asked one question. I think it's quite interesting. Uh, which one would you prefer? Win one zero or win four three? Mm, win one zero. One zero. Yeah. Uh, why would you? Can you? Just, Uh, because I want to what? keep, I want to keep clean sheet. Clean sheet, that is important. Yeah. Yeah. How um, uh, how does it matter? Like for uh, suppose you you won one day one zero, another day yeah. you have won uh, another match is four three. How does it, uh, you know, in the for the team? How does it, you know, how does it affect the mentality of the players? One zero four three. The difference is there any difference or is it the same? Uh, if it is. In the league, it's same one zero and four three. Mm. But if it is uh, like home and away, home and away, that yeah. uh, it matters because uh, if you lose, also you you can have away goal. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a, a very important for home and away game. So in the league, one winning one zero and four three, there's not not much of an awareness, and three points is all that all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the league, it's yeah. same. It's another question from any of C fan, and they want to know what's your favorite band from Northeast. 
Mm. Uh, I'm not listening to some band like uh, from Northeast. Yeah, I I'm listening uh, only Mizo song and yeah, English song. So I'm yeah. not listening from Northeast band or something. Yeah, there are some Mizo songs which will which have gone quite popular. Facebook. I think uh, it's quite popular in Mizoram as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> very popular. Yeah, Mizoram people are like they are quite into music as well. They are other than sport. I think they are very good, very uh, good in music. Yeah. Uh, do you? What about you? Do you sing a bit? No, I'm very bad. Singing, at singing. playing any instrument? No, I, I, I don't know how to play any instrument. Instrumental things. You you are strictly a football guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rather than football, there is nothing much from me. <laughs> what did you suggest to other young players who are still, you know, trying to make their mark in football, trying to you know, get into the professional leagues, maybe it's just starting up? What did you advise them? Yeah. Uh, first, I would say. Uh, work hard, train, train every day, and uh, second, I will say, uh, listen to your seniors or coach, and uh, watch more football, uh, like in this Premier League, Champions League, Bundesliga, La Liga. Because you can learn a lot from them. They are all very good players who who is playing on top level. You can learn a lot from them. Football is not only uh, going to field, doing whatever we like. You need to learn some basic things from top players. So you can learn a lot by watching. So that's it. Work hard. Okay. Obey, obey seniors, coach. And what's good football? There are some more questions. Uh, we have already, I think we have already answered this question. What's your favorite football team? Uh, Barcelona. Just one more Barcelona. And in India? In India, uh, I will say Northeast because I'm from Northeast. In ISL, I will say Northeast. In ISL. If you yeah. if I'll just uh, this is a trick question. Okay. Uh, yeah. Suppose NUFC playing Mizor Isol FC. Who you root for? You are not in the team. You are uh, neutral. And you have will, versus Isol FC. <laughs> I will be in Isol FC side because I am from Isol. <laughs> okay. So you'll be a traitor for us. <laughs> you'll be you'll be our opponent then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another question: The Siva is asking your best match in ISL so far. Hmm. My best match. I I will say against Bengaluru. Bengaluru. Which, yeah. Which? Uh, the home or the away? Uh, our home. Our home match. Yeah. My my yeah. debut Any game. Specific. Your debut game. Okay. Yeah. So is it because it was your debut game? Ah. Uh, yeah. Because. Uh, uh, it's my debut game and I play quite well and it's very difficult to play against Bengaluru so I'm very happy that I perform like that so I think that's my best game Okay but as far as the records are concerned I think you won the uh, player of the hero of the match for the match against Kerala uh, it was a nil nil draw yeah yeah in that match i uh, i don't feel like i deserve the hero of the match but that uh, yeah I, I don't feel like i i i play that good and i i don't think i deserve that uh hero of the match award but luckily but they they select me yeah. i don't think it's the, your just luck because i after the match we, when you read the comments i uh, the coach was a lot all praise for you he uh, yeah. even said he he had talked to the Indian captain regarding you and Ninthoy. 
for yeah. the national camp so yeah. yeah he has high regards for you he has high you know hopes on you as i it's seen he has been commenting so what are your thoughts on the coach our coach previous the coaches that you have played it the under 17 uh, national team then you have you played under floyd pinto i think in uh, son uh, indian arrows then journey yeah so how share your experience with them. how is it different yeah. what different uh, every everyone is uh, very different from others but they are all good coach i learned a lot from them and some 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 coach wants to play defensive some play the de- uh, attacking uh okay. some coach want to keep the ball some coach uh, doesn't like to keep the ball they just want to depends on counter attack and also uh, it's quite difficult to play under a, a lot of coaches because they have different strategies different. yeah but uh we we can learn a lot from every coaches they are all good in their own ways what are your thoughts on highland brigade yeah they are doing a yeah. great job by supporting us i hope they will support us next season also and of course of I, course oh. i uh i am very happy that uh they are they keep supporting us uh, uh even we are not uh getting the points uh, even we lose even we are having hard times that time they are supporting us i am very happy to see that kind of fans and uh i I hope we we will get a much better result next season and I want to make you feel proud to be the Highlanders and I invite you I request everyone to keep supporting us and uh be the 12th men on the stadium Thank you thank you so much we will definitely will be there and uh, how do you feel what about the banners and chants like how is it different how do you feel when you see the banners does it make a difference when you see the big banners yeah 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 i uh it makes me like feel like uh uh this is the the real football you know uh, it's not just like playing some local tournaments uh, some some local football i feel like this is the real football you know <laughs> I am very happy to see that. Yeah, we are happy we are happy that you feel motivated by us. We will try yeah. to keep doing so. We'll try to be, yeah. make it even bigger for you. Yeah. Uh, so the and uh, finally do you have any word of suggestion for us for the fans for the Highlander Brigade in particular? How can we yeah, improve just... in supporting you guys? How can you improve in backing you up from the stand? Yeah, uh I think uh more more people can be there like uh the stadium can be uh more populated yeah. so in that way I think you can improve a lot With the numbers think, the numbers yeah, yes yeah the 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 numbers can be improved a lot so I I want uh everybody who is having time for the match i want you to come and cheer for us uh if you don't want to cheer also just by sitting there and watching us that give us motivation so it helps us a lot to do our best okay we'll we'll try to get this message to everyone to uh, as far as possible so this yeah. has been mentioned by subham subham rava i uh, the junior team coach the, yeah uh, notice united yeah so one word about him subham mm. just had a session with funny have you had guy. an interaction with him funny yeah okay. i would say funny guy <laughs> <laughs> okay okay apuya it was really nice talking to you it was you know very enriching experience as well as it was fun i hope you had the same fun to i have yeah. been got bored in no no, no no it was fun 
Okay, glad to know that. So we have, we have, I think we have already crossed the limit. I think it's almost one hour now. I, yeah. I just couldn't keep track of time. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you so much for the yeah motivation and uh, uh, just last word, uh, few words of motivation for people uh, during this lockdown. How you know how for all the people, all the fans. Uh, 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 I I think it will take more time for this lockdown since uh, there are more people who is getting this disease. So uh, keep yourself safe, uh, keep distance and obey the rules, uh, obey the government, what they say and uh, eat. Eat healthy foods, drink a lot of water to uh, to keep your body strong. Uh, exercise yourself at home. Also, you can uh, do a lot of uh, exercise. And uh, when the football is back, we will see each other. Yeah. Sure, sure. We'll see you soon. We hope to see you for, soon. For that, you have to be safe. Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. Hope you hope you hope be the same. Hope the same for you and your family as well. Stay safe, and hope for a better. Hope to see better days ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Apuya. Thank you. Thank you. And, bye. Yeah, good. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.